Hello powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. You have noticed some unusual things happening in your life. Perhaps you keep biting your tongue or having the same dreams and you couldn't stop wondering, is someone thinking of me? So, in this video, I'll give you a couple huge indicators from the universe that someone is thinking of you, as well as what that could indicate. Number 1. You suddenly start sneezing. You would be in your room, happily tapping on your phone, when you would start sneezing. As far as you know, there is no cause for you to sneeze. There is no dust in the air, and your nose is unaffected. You are not allergic, and you didn't just sniff a hot pepper dish. So, what's the deal? Someone was thinking of you, which is why you started sneezing unexpectedly. When you think about someone, your thoughts travel across the universe and eventually reach them. When this happens, several physical occurrences may occur, including random sneezing. This is a widely held notion in many Asian societies. In fact, some of them claim that you don't even need to sneeze, merely scratching your nose is enough. If you sneeze once, it's because someone was thinking of you positively. If you sneeze twice, it's because someone loves you. And if you sneeze three times or more, it's because someone is madly in love with you. Number 2. Your eye twitches erratically. Sneezing isn't the only physical evidence of someone's negative feelings towards you. Another sign might be twitching of your eyes for no apparent reason. That is, you are neither worried or high on drink, as they can produce eye twitching that is unrelated to someone else thinking about you. Someone is missing you if your eyes start twitching at random. And the more your eyes twitch, the more intense you want. If your spiritual connection is strong enough at this point, you will also experience their loneliness. If this occurs, there is no doubt that your eye twitching is caused by someone thinking about you. Number 3. You notice angel numbers everywhere. When the universe tries to teach you something, it is only very rarely obvious. You are unlikely to come across random signals saying hey, this individual is thinking of you wherever you go. Angel numbers, on the other hand, will be visible. These are repeating numerical sequences such as 111, 4242, and 6262. You will most likely see more than one at a time, and their meanings may vary based on which ones you see together and in what settings. This is especially likely if they are someone whose soul is important to you. Number 4. You can't take your mind off them. You can't stop thinking about them, which is a sign that someone is thinking a lot about you. This is especially suspicious if you have no cause to be thinking about them in the first place. Even more so if you've never met them before. This behavior is known as reciprocity, and it is something that many of us overlook. But when we do, it quickly sticks out as completely bizarre. But it's not as enigmatic as it sounds. Throughout it all, I was astounded by their kindness, sensitivity, and knowledge. When you think about someone, your thoughts travel across the universe and eventually reach the individual in question. A spiritual relationship is formed, but it is so subtle that they will miss it the first few times you keep them in your thoughts. The more you think about someone, the stronger your bond becomes. And eventually, it will be strong enough that people will be able to sense your thoughts and feelings on a subconscious level. This will cause people to consider you as well. To make matters even better, if you're soulmates or twin flames, you already have that relationship. This is presumably why someone you don't recognize appears in your mind. Number 5. They keep appearing in your dreams. Someone else will appear in your dreams as another indicator that they are thinking about you. They might occasionally be in the foreground, communicating directly with you. They're sometimes merely in the background. This occurs for the same reasons that someone appears in your thoughts on a regular basis. It's because their thoughts got into your head. Surprisingly, you're more likely to start dreaming about them before you start thinking about them. This is because your mind is closer to the spiritual realm when you are asleep than when you are awake. As a result, you can catch up on the faint signals that person is sending you even before they reach your awake mind. When you're sleeping, your mind is also a lot more honest with itself, so you might be denying that you've been thinking of them. After all, you must be insane to worry about someone that much, and so suddenly. However, by placing them in your dreams, 
The universe is assisting you in coming to terms with your ideas and letting you know that someone is thinking about you so much that it causes you to reciprocate. Number 6. His or her face continues running across your mind. It's unusual to see a face flash across your head while completing everyday tasks. It's much scarier if you haven't met them yet. These visual flashes indicate that someone is thinking about you. Not just anyone, they may be your soulmate. Perhaps your soulmate was attempting to manifest you, and the flashes are the universe's way of directing you to each other. There is a way to find out for sure if you want to. Number 7. You keep running into things that are related to them. You constantly coming across objects or occurrences that are related with them in some manner. For example, if they enjoy drinking passion fruit juice, you may find yourself unintentionally stumbling into locations that sell passion fruit juice. Or, if Neil Gaiman is their favorite author, you can discover your social media suggesting his novels. If there's someone you already know, it's easy to assume that you just have similar preferences as them and that you're just going to places you'd go anyway. However, if they are someone you have never met before, it might be a strange encounter. You may be wondering, why am I hearing so much rock music lately? Or why is Facebook putting cat memes on my timeline? I'm not even fond of cats. This is due to your souls interacting with one another, and everything will fall into place when you finally meet them in person. Number 8. You begin to run into them unexpectedly. Something odd catches your attention. It's as if you can't help but run into them wherever you go. Perhaps not every minute of every day, but frequently enough to make you wonder. Maybe you'd go to the beach and find them just relaxing. You'd go to your favorite cafe, and they'd be there as well. It's so strange that you must wonder whether they're tracking you like some government-assigned FBI agent. That is a possibility, particularly if none of the other symptoms on this list have manifested in your life. Number 9. You experience mood fluctuations. Another strange side effect of having someone think of you so often that you create a spiritual relationship is that your mood can become erratic at times. This is since not only your thoughts, but also your emotions, will pass through that relationship. If they suddenly feel elated because they have accomplished something they have long desired, part of that happiness will find its way to you and change your mood. If they were angry or depressed, those emotions will find their way to you as well. Of course, you should remember how you normally behave. If you're the type of person who has mood swings all the time, having them may not signify much to you. However, if you don't normally experience mood swings, you'll have to pay close attention, especially if you notice the other indicators on this list because this is a clear indication that someone is influencing you with their emotions. The strange part is that the tie works both ways, so when you feel intense emotions, they will feel them as well. This is a strong clue that someone has been thinking a lot about you, and it confirms all the other signs on this list, so keep an eye out for it. Number 10. You're seeing a lot of white butterflies. Butterflies have a strong connection to the spirit world and are powerful symbols to come across in your life. A butterfly flying past indicates that the spirit of a deceased relative is paying you a visit. A butterfly indicates that someone is spiritually reaching out to you. It's possible they're attempting to manifest you, or they're simply thinking about you a lot. Whatever the reason may be, if you continue to encounter white butterflies, don't dismiss them. They are messengers from the cosmos, sent to assist you to recognize what your spirit has understood all along. Consider who you're thinking of when you see butterflies, it's likely that's the person who's been thinking of you. You can also recall what you were doing or thinking now. Were you practicing your guitar or thinking about heading to the park? You should keep playing guitar or go to the park since doing so will lead you to the person who has been thinking about you. Number 11. You suddenly hear their voice. If constantly thinking about or fantasizing about someone isn't enough to make you think, oh my god, I'm going insane, this might be it. But don't be concerned. Not yet, at any rate. It could just be an indication that someone is thinking about you a lot. They may be thinking of talking to you, and your soul hears their thoughts about you through your psychic relationship. They could have manifested you by chance. Of course, it's also possible that they were manifesting you on purpose, in which case you can well assume that they're thinking about you. They keep popping up everywhere. 
No, not simply as flashes in your head, and no, not literally. What I mean is that you constantly running across people that remind you of them for some reason. This is not by chance. This is the world pushing you in the direction of someone who has been thinking a lot about you, almost as if to say, hey, maybe notice them. They've been thinking about you a lot. And, to ensure that you understand exactly who the universe is pointing you to, the universe will make you notice people who remind you of various qualities of them. Perhaps the individual bringing your pizza has a chin that reminds you of them. Perhaps it was the way the individual you met in the mall dressed the same clothes they would wear. You spoke in the same manner as they did last night at the pub. So, when you eventually meet them, whether you have met previously or not, you'll know exactly who they're intended to be. Before you consider if someone thinking about you, make sure at least two of these indications are present in your life. After all, it is preferable to avoid jumping to conclusions. And, while it's often the case that folks who think about you so much that these indicators start to appear around you are fated by the cosmos to be crucial in your life, it isn't always the case. As a result, it's always vital to control expectations and exercise prudence. Fortunately, you do not have to work through these challenges alone, nor do you have to guess whether they have genuine intentions toward you. I hope this video was really helpful, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life.